ladies i hope you're all well today i have a full face makeup video for you it's been a while since i did one um i got some new products so i was trying i hope you enjoy please make sure you subscribe to my youtube and my blog very important um i'm on the blog more often than i am on youtube so if you want to stay up to date with what's going on please um, subscribe to the blog and yeah if you want to see how i got this makeup look Please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just going to go right into it and um, starting off with my foundation. Some people like to do their eyebrows before they do their foundation, but I prefer to do my foundation. So I'm using my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Honestly, this foundation is delicious. That's all I can say. It goes on so smooth. I'm using a flat top brush. One more, um, one more coat. You'll see, I've already done a product review on this this foundation. Um, leaves the face fully matte. As you like, look at this. You saw the difference. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to brush out my brows upwards. For eyebrows, the main thing is to already have a shape that you want. Um, I have a scar in my eyebrow. No, it's not thug life. It wasn't intentional. It's a scar, so it makes my eyebrows a bit wonky sometimes. But you have to manage. So I'm just brushing, brushing them up and I'm going to fill them in with a brown pencil. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what brand it is. As you can see, I'm not going above or beyond my actual brow because I have the shape already. I'm just filling it in so it stands out a bit more. Very, very lightly done. Now the fun part. I'm taking a foundation. This is actually a foundation that is about two shades lighter than my skin tone. I'm not using a concealer because I find that this blends better. Foundations are made to blend into your skin like over a, a wide area so I find that this, using a foundation instead of concealer works better for me um, I'm just going to lightly highlight the brow area I'm just going to drag it down I'm using a flat concealer brush so I can drag it down. I know some people like to go out looking like this. But let me tell you. There we have it. Done. Okay, okay. So what I like to do at this step is to blend in with my fingers. Okay, so I have this not fully blended. So the, so the trick is to go back in with your foundation and a fluffy blending brush. Just take a little bit. I want them to be fully, fully blended in. My next step is my contour. I'm also using another Dream Matte Mousse. Um, this color is Espresso. It's a darker, it's a color that's darker, about two shades darker than my skin. I'm going to use this brush. 
I'll do a full video on highlighting and contouring because there's just so much to talk about. If I have to talk about it in this video, it's going to be about 30 minutes long. So, I'm just going to take this, take this, dip it in. And basically, I'm just going to draw a line going across my face. Like so. Bring it up, up just a little bit. Okay, so don't use too much of the contour cream or powder or whatever you're using because you'll begin to look like a man. I'm also not doing my jawline or my temples or anything like that because it's never that deep. So I'm just going to blend this out. Next step, we're going to do a light highlight. I'm using the same foundation that I used um, underneath my eyes. This is actually a L'Oreal foundation, true match, da, 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 da. warm, the color is warm, W4, warm, natural beige. I'm going to use a flat foundation brush. I'm just going to put my highlight underneath my eyes. You could use concealer for this, most people use concealer, but you know. So I'm just going to put it here and here, and I'm just going to do a light line going across my nose and maybe my cupid's bow. It's not okay to leave the house looking like this. So it's time to blend! Okay, so it's time to blend the highlight. I'm using my beauty. I think you can get these from Ruby's House of Beauty actually. So check the directory for their number and all that. Um, when I do my full highlight and contour video, I'll talk about this in detail. My next step is to set my contour with a contour powder. This is also a Maybelline powder, clear and smooth, all in one powder. This color is Mocha. Fashion Fair, I never knew. <laughs> it's a Fashion Fair bronzer. I mean, blush. It's called Pearly Paprika. It looks like Max um, Umbering Rose. So if you have that, this is a good. If you don't have that, this is a good alternative. Although I don't know where I got it from. I'm using an angled face brush, just a little bit. highlight powder same Maybelline um, clear smooth all-in-one powder but in a different shade um, this is honey just a little bit because I don't want too much because I haven't used any powder that is my own um, skin ch shade yet because that's what I'm going to use to blend everything together okay so I'm done with my highlight my contour my blush my foundation so I'm going to blend everything together with my own powder so I'm going to use the same foundation brush that I used for my foundation on I'm just going to take a little just so it looks like one face not like hey you have this here and you have this here so basically this is the face very simple I don't like looking like I have a cake face so I go with this for mascara I'm using these two um, this is the rocket volume express and then um, the colossal colossal volume express mascara this I bought because of the leopard print I'm not gonna lie but it works is this one for length and this one for volume so I start with the one for volume and um, it gets a bit messy so after I'm done and it dries and then I use a Q-tip to just clean it up a bit. Look at the difference already. Okay, 
ladies so you've seen how I got this makeup look um, I'll do a tutorial on how I got my hair like this um, you saw in the two buns in the video but I'll do a full tutorial for you to see yeah if you enjoyed please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time